welcome you again in the classes of evs academy we have already covered majority of our syllabus from this environmental science ugc net preparation today after completion of all the nine units i am going to complete some miscellaneous topics plus the unit 10 because in unit 10 if you look at the syllabus of the unit 10 majority of the things of unit 10 we have covered somewhere else in the other chapters for example, if I tell you the Bhopal gas tragedy that we have already covered in very detail, the detail about the EPA, Environmental Protection Act, that also we have covered, the few extra extra things about the Unit 10 that we will discuss after the completion of this miscellaneous topics and how to cover them, I will tell you. Because those topics are just changing, changing with continuous time. Because majority of the Unit 10 is for the environmental issues that are currently going on. So that currently going on environmental issues can be different for each semester or each year. So there is a no fixed syllabus, I would tell, but how to cover that current topic that I will definitely tell you at the end of this miscellaneous topics. So let's start this miscellaneous topics, the few topics that we have left in the previous chapters, that the important topics from where, from where majority of the questions are every year, one or two questions you can find out from these miscellaneous topics. So that I'm going to cover, then after we will discuss what to do with the unit 10. So here the first thing is the thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is a very important part that was left. And we are going to complete this thermodynamics in this particular class. So here you can see the thermodynamics word itself is made up of the two things. One is the thermo, another one is the dynamics. So dynamics means how it is changing or what is the behavior of this particular thing. What thing? The thing here is thermo. Thermo means temperature. So study of the temperature behavior of any particular thing, we can say that is part of the thermodynamics. If you look at the exact definition of this thermodynamics, so this is in your slide right now. The thermodynamics deals with the concepts of heat because heat is also form of energy and changing in the heat amount leads to the change in temperature. Temperature is what? Temperature is just measurement of heat. So if you can measure the heat amount of any particular system, then we can say that that measure of heat of that particular system, what is system we will see. For now being, you can understand the anything suppose you want to measure anything's temperature so that temperature is what that temperature is the amount of heat present in that particular thing if it is more we would say that temperature is high if the amount of heat present is less so we would say that the heat amount is less so concept of heat and temperature are interrelated with each other so in thermodynamics we deal with the concept of heat and temperature both and the interconversion of heat and other forms of energy because we already know that energy can be converted into one form to another form, but it cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. So suppose you are creating energy. It means you are just converting one form of energy to another form of energy. You are not generating energy. Any form of energy you can see, for example, if I say wind energy, so you are just change the kinetic energy of the wind into the electrical energy. So that is the wind energy or windmill we are having. Similarly, we have the hydropower plants. Hydropower plants, what you are doing? There is a huge stack or amount of water present, stored. Then potential energy of that water is used in the form of generating electricity. So you are changing the potential energy of the water into the, into the same. Uh, the, maybe uh, you are using it for the moving of the turbine and you are generating electricity. So ultimately, that is changed into electricity. For example, your fan. So your fan is changing the electrical energy into kinetic energy and moving in the motion. And that way it is providing kinetic energy to the wind and that wind or air is coming to your point. So that is how all the things works in the universe. The every form of energy is not fixed. It is just converted into one form to another form and then we use it. So in the thermodynamics, the main thing here is about the temperature and heat and how this temperature and heat are changing its form into different energies. So a study of that is called as thermodynamics. If you look at the, the four laws of thermodynamics, so all these four laws of thermodynamics that we are going to see in this upcoming, upcoming slides or in this chapter, these all are governing the behavior 
of the quantities and provide a quantitative description of the things. Suppose there is a very high temperature. So how you will tell that is a high temperature? There is going to be a measurement of that high temperature, maybe 50 degrees Celsius, maybe 100 degrees Celsius, maybe 500 degrees Celsius, whatever it is. So that measurement is provided by the thermodynamics. So you can have the quantitative description of energy, maybe 100 gigawatt we can say, or 500 gigawatt you can say. So that is what that is quantitative form of energy. So you can measure the amount of energy. So that's what is provided by the thermodynamics, the quantitative description of the quantities quantities of the energy you can say so the all the four laws helps us to just know the quantitative form of the different form of energy then the william thompson in the 1940 1749 coined the term thermodynamics very first time and from that point we are studying the thermodynamics and the behavior of the multiple things if you look at the thermodynamics in physics so because thermodynamics we study in the physics as well as in the chemistry because in the both uh, the subject, we need the concept of heat and temperature. So thermodynamics in physics, that is a dealing with the heat, work and temperature all. And their relation with the energy form, maybe radiation or physical properties of the matter as well. So because in physics, we study the physical properties of the matter, matters as well. So all these things are under the thermodynamics. So this is what thermodynamics is. So I hope you have a better idea about the thermodynamics now. At least for the layman language or very easy language, you can just understand that thermodynamics is nothing. That is just a study of the temperature and heat. So thermodynamics, dynamics, how it is changing. So we are studying the changing heat and temperature of the bodies or the things. Maybe later in this chapter, we would say, the changing temperature and heat of the system. So here, the question that is formed here, what is a system? So in the thermodynamics, we talk about the systems, not about the things, not about the matter. So let's see that, what is the system and what is all the things? So basics of the thermodynamics, we have to understood here. So here you can see that in this particular chapter, uh, image in your right hand side, how thermal energy is converted to or form other forms of energy and how matter is affected by this particular process. So this is the heat source here you can see that is denoted as TH and here is the cold thing that is denoted as TL. So here you can see that that heat, heat source is coming and due to that particular heat this particular area is getting energy and that energy is converted into work some work maybe just uh, running your turbine or maybe heating up anything. So that all is a kind of work that you are getting from the heated source or hot source. And then ultimately that heat would be lost on that work and you will get the cold sink or cold temperature. So thermal energy is that energy that comes from heat. This heat is generated by the movement of tiny particles within an object. And the faster these particles move, the more heat is generated. So that is very obvious. Suppose you start boiling the water so what will happen ultimately the boiling water start movement and there would be very a rigorous movement in the water that you can see in the boiling water so why that is happening because of the moving particles of water because you have increased the heat amount increased the temperature so on that way the uh, water starts boiling so that is because of the movement of the tiny particles of water inside that particular container wherever you put the water and that's why we can see there is a very hot boiling of the water there so that is because of the movement of the tiny particles so similar things happen with the any other thing as well in the air as well if you increase the temperature there would be movement of air or wind is generated so that's why during the summer times you can see that there is a uh, kind of storms or thunderstorms comes because of the very high movement of air so that high movement of air is achieved by the increased thermal energy of the air. That's why the tiny particles are air are moving quickly. During the months of April, May also, you can see that there is a flow of wind that is very high. And that is because of the increased temperature of the air. So this is the basics of the thermodynamics. If you increase the temperature, there would be increase in the particle motion. Higher would be the increase in particle motion, higher would be the energy generation. 
So hope this basic is clear to you now. So this is the thermodynamic system. I was telling about system system earlier. So what is the system? So system is a kind of boundary for any particular thing. So our universe is very, very large. So what you will do, suppose you want to study the thermodynamics for any particular region, for any particular thing. So we would consider that particular thing or that region as a system because we have selected that area or that particular thing for our study. So system is what? System is any small area in the large universe that we have selected for our study purpose. So that would be our system. So that way we have a system boundary as well. That system you are selecting must have a system boundary, which is defining or defining your particular study area. Out of that area, you are not studying anything. That would be your system boundary, which is separating the universe with the system. So a boundary is a closed surface surrounding of a system through which energy and mass may enter or leave the system. So that is the work of boundary. Boundary are also of multiple types depending on whether it is allowing the exchange of heat, energy, mass or not. So that we will see in the upcoming slides. Surrounding, so accept your system, whatever study area you have selected. So apart from that area, all the things are your surrounding. So whole universe is your surrounding except your study region. So that is the surrounding. Then system, I have told you a system is a region containing energy and other matter as well, definitely because you have selected a particular region. So definitely that region should have some kind of energy. Definitely it will have and some kind of heat and matter as well. Suppose I have selected a portion in the atmosphere. So that atmosphere portion is also having some matter of the air or gas. So that is matter and some energy as well. That is separated from the uh, surrounding with the help of a boundary. That is boundary. Boundary is arbitrarily imposed walls. So boundary is not real. It is not like that it is fully packed. This is an imaginary, you can say, imaginary wall or arbitrarily wall, which is we are imagining. So because of just separating our system with the surrounding and that particular thing is called as boundary. So here you can say this is the system. This is the system boundary. And then we have all the other things that is surrounding. And from the surrounding, the system is exchanging heat and work. So the study of this exchanging heat and work in the thermodynamics is done and through which we can understand the thermodynamics system. So I hope the basics of the thermodynamics are clear to you. For example, system surrounding and system boundary. So for now on what we would say in the thermodynamics, we study the temperature behavior or changing nature of the temperature and energy in any particular system. That is what we study in the thermodynamics. So now you understood what is the system. So we can say that the changing temperature behavior we can study in the system. So this is what thermodynamics system is.